I didn't know what was missing until one day I felt the cold, hard concrete beneath my cheek. Now when I think back to my wedding night, I remember feeling two intense emotions. Hey, you. Look, you don't even have to say it. I know. I need to get up there to see you and the baby. It's crazy I haven't even met my nephew yet. What is he, what, two months? Drew is four months. <sighs> Time is flying. But yeah, things are good, you know, just busy. <sighs> you girl, please, you know how it is. No, no, we're good. Yeah, he's out playing golf. In fact, what time is it? It's six o'clock. Oh. Yeah, look, I gotta get going. Who, Rich? Yeah, he's gonna be home shortly. Look, I'll, I'll tell him you said hi. And yeah, and Lisa, just give that baby a hug and a kiss for me. I love you. You didn't wear that shirt out today, did you? Well, hello to you too, handsome. And no, I changed my clothes when I got home. You saw what I had on earlier. So what's for dinner? Pork chops. Great. I thought you liked pork chops. You just draw it out, Rhonda. wasn't meant for an insult, okay? I mean, there's something you can work on, right? No, you can't be completely perfect. All the time, can you? <laughs> the first emotion, disbelief. I couldn't believe that I had finally found true love. So what you do today? Not much, just work. I could actually be this happy. Just work. You know, I wonder why that boss even keeps you around. I work hard, I do my best, and Mr. Taylor respects all of his employees. Mr. Taylor, like you don't call him by his first name, I've heard you. Everybody at the office calls him by his first name, bitch. Well, I don't want you to do it, Rhonda. Can you respect your husband on this? I'm not going to ask you again. The other was fear. Fear that I didn't deserve this. That somehow the rug would be ripped from under my feet. Yes. Yes what? Yes, I can respect my husband's wishes. Thank you. I don't know why you have to make this so hard. A car accident, a plane crash, an illness. I guess it was our second anniversary when I realized the rug was gone. This is dry. It is? 
I don't know how. I, I kept my eye on it. How could you have been having an eye on my dinner when you're on the phone gabbing? That's right. I called you earlier today and the line was busy. See, this is a great example why we should have call waiting. And if we had call waiting or a cell phone. A cell phone. spoken to Lisa since she had Andrew. And now I don't have dinner. What? No. I can make you something else. I think we have hamburger. Sit down. Sorry. I was just returning Lisa's call. Who do you think pays the phone bill? You do. Correct. You know, maybe you're not as dumb as you look. I work too. <laughs> oh, please. You barely make enough money to buy groceries each week. You know, I wonder why you even work. You know, if you'd stay home, maybe our house wouldn't be covered in dust. And maybe I can get a decent meal on my plate every once in a while. But no, instead I'm out there busting my butt making good money so that you can put dry pork on my plate and run up the phone bill. Does that sound fair to you? No. Right. You know, you're on a roll. Leave it. I can make you Leave it else. all there, Rhonda. Sit down. Sit down. I'm going to go to McDonald's and buy myself something at home. And I want you to sit here and think about what you did tonight. And I don't want you to move out of this chair. As a matter of fact, I'm going to set up my video camera to watch you. And if you move out of this chair, You wish to God you had You got it? Yes. And I don't want you to take one bite of this atrocity.
Gotcha. You reached Rich and Rhonda. Sorry we're not here to take your call. But if you leave your name, number, and a brief message, we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and have a blessed day. Good thing you let the machine pick it up. You are like a three-year-old child sometimes. You forced me to teach you both of this. The hard way. I will determine how my money gets spent. You hear me? You hear me? On average, nearly 20 people per minute are physically abused by an intimate partner in the United States. During one year, that equates to more than 10 million women and men. You are not alone.